You're watching FE Exam Prep with Anthony Fasano from Pass the FE Exam. In this video, we're going to calculate the total elongation of a mixed martial assembly to give you a better understanding of what you can expect during the FE Exam. This Pass the FE Exam video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. This week's problem was created and solved by Enrique Ivers, an engineer in training. Enrique, take it away. In this example, we'll calculate the total elongation of a mixed material assembly. The problem statement reads, a solid round steel rod, six millimeters in diameter and 400 millimeters long is rigidly connected to the end of a square brass rod, 25 millimeters on a side and 350 millimeters long. The geometric axes of the bars are along the same line. An axial tensile force of 5 kN is applied at the extreme ends of the assembly. For steel, the modulus of elasticity, E, is 200 gigapascals, and for brass, 90 gigapascals. Determine the total elongation for the assembly. We should identify that the material properties are already provided to us and vary between the materials. Provided possible answers are A, 0.385 millimeters, B, 0.405 millimeters, C, 0.425 millimeters, and D, 0.450 millimeters. The FE handbook is very useful for this problem. We can rely on it, but we have to be careful. We note that the loading of the assembly is uniaxial, given that the geometric axes of the bars are along the same line. Additionally, if we search for elongation, we will not find the proper equation. We should search for other terms like uniaxial loading or deformation within the mechanics of materials section. Ultimately, we find the section shown to the right and the equation delta equals P times L over A times E. The variables are defined as delta equaling the total deformation where P is the loading force, L is the length of the member, A is the cross-sectional area, and E is the modulus of elasticity. The total deformation of the assembly will be the deformation of the steel rod plus the deformation of the brass rod. We set up the following equation. Total deformation of the assembly is equal to the sum of the deformation of the steel and the deformation of the brass. We'll first solve for the deformation of the steel portion of the assembly before moving on to the brass portion. We substitute in our known variables for P, L, A, and E specific to the steel section of the assembly. Solving for the equation, we arrive at 0.354 millimeters for the elongation of the steel portion of the assembly. We'll next do the same for the brass portion of the assembly. We find that the brass portion of the assembly elongates 0.031 millimeters. In order to find the total elongation of the assembly, we sum those two together, the elongation of the steel portion and the elongation of the brass portion, and we find that the total elongation of the assembly is 0.385 millimeters. Our answer matches option A, 0.385 millimeters. So we go with option A. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Past the FE exam videos will publish weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly. 
to ensure that you pass the epi exam and please i encourage you to ask questions in the comments below that i will read and respond to maybe there's a specific topic that you need some help with maybe there's a problem that you need solved pass the fe exam will have you covered i'll see you next week on pass the fe exam